early o'clock, just about 10 past six in the morning, and uh, we're here at the Enon Plantation, we're after Eastern Turkeys. So, what's the plan of attack for this morning? Well, right now we didn't we didn't get out last night, Rooster Bird. The wind was terrible yesterday. It's still 30. pretty stiff now. Yeah, it's pretty stiff. And I think it's got a little effect on the wind. I heard a gobble already. Yeah. But, you know, 30 plus mile an hour winds, we just didn't come out yesterday afternoon and roost a bird. But right now we're just going to wait and see, uh, uh, try to get one to gobble on his own. Yeah. And, so talk about roosting the birds. So what does that involve? You come out and you try and locate where they're roosting. Yeah, uh, typically uh, 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 when a gobbler flies up in the afternoon, he's going to He's going to gobble. Yeah, uh, it's just their nature, you know, or, and letting it, letting it kind of letting everybody know where we're at, you yeah. know, where I'm at, and and you can come out in the afternoon and throw owl hoot out or a series of calls or sometimes just listen. Just and, that, and they just respond to you. And, and you know, you know exactly what trees in, so that the next morning you can you can come in and, and get in within a, a decent callable range. Yeah. Sit in the sit down on the ground while it's still dark, let everything calm down. Next morning, and when you know when it breaks day, you can start talking to him, calling. He'll fly down to you. And you listen to that magical beating of yeah. wings as it hits that's, the floor. That's right. Yeah. One, one thing I have um, I've noticed out here is if we've, as we've been going along, you've been stopping mm -hmm. when you've heard a, a crow call or an owl call. Yeah. You're just waiting for that response from a gobbler. There's there's certain sounds in nature that that are trigger a gobble. Yeah. And that's I mean I've heard a, a, a truck going out of the road hit a pothole. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, or, or somebody slamming a car door exactly, sometimes. So. Exactly. Um, anything like woodpeckers, crows, anything. And, and, and a turkey as a turkey hunter, when you're walking along and you hear these natural calls that naturally make them, why why you want to do all the work? Mm -hmm. Why you want to take a chance on spooking them? Let nature play its role, but you just take advantage of it. <laughs> in here up and down this line but they haven't they not just there's not vocal so what we're going to do is cold uh, maybe it has an effect on them maybe it don't but what we're going to do is just we we'll just sit up right here i see some fresh turkey tracks and i know they're in the area so we're just going to let it warm up a little bit we'll go ahead and set up just in case one has heard us and he comes in yeah that way he don't call, catch us off guard but <clears throat> we're going to set up right here in this little open area and just give it time to warm up and listen and call lightly every now and then. And uh, maybe we'll hear one off in the distance and then once it gets, the sun gets on up and it warms up a little bit, we'll, we'll strike a try again. It's good to me.
So, Randy. We saw a lot of birds there, yeah. but just not the one we wanted. Yeah, sure did. Yeah, they, uh, several hens and you know, some young jakes, nice young jakes came in, but yeah. you know that's not what we're here to uh, here to shoot. You know they they're uh, they got a lot of potential. So but this cold wind has really given us a fit in. Yeah, it's bad. We've been moving around. Although, funnily enough, the deer didn't seem to mind too much. We saw um, a doe come through with a with a fawn earlier on. I think they know deer season's over. <laughs> oh yeah, I suppose they take it off on the calendar and it's finished, right? <laughs> yeah, we want where we want to. So those, those three jakes having a bit, but a little bit earlier on, when you had the decoy out, mm -hmm. there's a pretty big group of hens that came up, and they just they were not happy at all, yeah, were they? They didn't like it at all, I, and I've never had them spook on a on a decoy like that, you know. I, Maybe that she looks too old and wrinkled for him. Yeah, maybe that, maybe she maybe she wasn't drunk enough. Yeah, maybe that's exactly, good. Yeah, exactly. Cool.